What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove the front seats out of this 2015 Chevy Silverado. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. So we wanna disconnect the battery because we are gonna um, remove the connector for the airbag. There is an airbag in this seat. Um, this vehicle has manual seats, so I'll disconnect the battery now. If you had electric seats, you're gonna want to first position the seat forward, remove the anchors for the seat, and then disconnect the battery. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Loosen up the negative terminal on the battery. And disconnect it. I'm gonna just slide this cable out of the way. I don't want it to accidentally hit the negative terminal on the battery. We want to access the bolts in the rear of the seat. There's one right there we can access, but this one has a cover over it. So we'll take this off. Just grab this piece, slide this off like that. And then underneath here, we're gonna have to slide this off. You might have to move the seat. I am gonna move it back. From the front, I'm just gonna slide this out. Like that. This comes off. This slides forward a little bit. There's a little clip right there. All right, now I'm gonna slide the seat forward. Now we wanna remove these two bolts. I'm gonna use a T50 and a ratchet. Loosen these up. Take those bolts out. Before we move the seat back, I wanna disconnect the seat belt from the seat. So I have to remove this cover right here. So I'm just gonna use the trim tool, get under here. This kind of like slides up. Be careful with the plastic. There we go. So there's some clips right here. One of them broke. So sometimes that happens, but it'll still stay, stay secure once we're done. I'm gonna take this screw out. I'm gonna use a T30 and a ratchet. Take that out and just grab the seatbelt, slide it down, pull it up. Just gonna back the seat up now. Like I said before, if you have electric seats, you'd wanna move it back now and then disconnect the battery before we disconnect the airbag. All right, now I'm gonna disconnect the airbag on this. I'm just gonna use a straight blade screwdriver, pull the lock back, and then this connector has a little lever right here. Push down on that red tab and then slide the lever and that'll disconnect right there. All right, before we pull the seat out, I am gonna take a straight blade screwdriver. There's a little trim piece right here that has to come off. Otherwise, it's gonna prevent you from sliding the seat out. Ah, it just slides forward like that. So there's a clip right here on this side, and then there's also one on the back side. So. It's kind of hard to get that one in the back side, right there. So I have that all disconnected. Uh, sometimes it's easy to come from the back side and lift the seat up, and then you're gonna grab from underneath and slide it out. Now the seat is completely disconnected from the car. Now, getting the seat out of the vehicle can sometimes be a challenge. So have the doors open, um, a lot of times seat's pretty heavy, so you might need a helper to help you get the seat out. Just grab the seat. Be careful near the door, you don't want to scratch anything. Just close that door a little bit, and then pull the seat up. Now I can do the same with the other side.
try to slide the seat in without scratching anything. Once you're in position, you want to get the front of the seat in, clipped in. So these clips under here, you want to go in those slots. Get them lined up. And then you grab the back of the seat, raise it up. And before I do anything else, I like to grab the front of the seat, make sure it's secure. That looks good. Now before I secure the back side, I wanna plug this connector in. This connector goes on this way. Latch it in, that's latched in. And then take the wire and just get it, tuck it in under the carpet like that. Now if you have an electric seat, you can go hook the battery back up at this point because you're gonna have to move it forward so you can get the rear bolts in. We don't have an electric seat, so we can just slide our seat forward, just like that. Take these two bolts, one goes here, and one goes over here. And I'm gonna take a T50 and tighten these down. I'm gonna use a torque wrench, and I'm gonna torque these bolts to 33 foot-pounds. What you wanna make sure is when you're torquing these bolts, because there is some thread locker on these bolts. Um, they could not be tightened down all the way. Just make sure you take the seat and wiggle it a little bit. Make sure that it's not loose. It could give you a false torque. And that's good. Everything's nice and tight. Now we wanna reinstall this screw right here. You could put a little thread locker on there. And then take the seat belt. Make sure the seat belt's not twisted. Slide this latch into there. Put the screw in using a T30. Then I'll take a ratchet, snug it up, and we'll torque it. And we're gonna torque this to 33 foot-pounds. Then we'll take this cover. This cover is gonna slide in down below, and then just lock in place. Now we want to install these trim pieces. We'll start with this one in the back. We'll just slide this in position right here. Get that like that. This piece is just going to slide in from the front. Might be easier to push the seat back a little bit. Just get this to line up. And there we go. That's on. Make sure that it snaps in together. You might have an easier time putting this piece on than the back piece, either way. And we have this front trim piece. This is gonna go right here and just slide in place. And then we're gonna do the same with the other side. Now we just hook up the battery. Get the negative cable, slide it through here. Get that in position. Take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and just tighten this up. Just get it snug and grab the negative terminal and just wiggle it, make sure it's tight. That's good. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.